to that regard. Mm-hmm. You should be patient. Because as soon as a name is said, it can... What do you mean? Well, as soon as you put an idea out, then it might change your psyche on how you see people and play around them. So if we keep it a blank slate, you can your mind will be more open to analyze and see how people are moving, how they're putting things together. You know what I'm saying? So let's say, for example, I say, well, I don't really trust Danny. I don't think I would do Danny. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't want to put it in my head that Danny's my target. Right. While I'm playing, like I'm while I'm, it's just my own mental kind of, how I mentally and socially analyze things. If I say a name mm-hmm. without it being... It becomes your automatic bias. Yes. Totally understand. So you're saying you will cross that bridge when you get to it? Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah, it makes sense. It's just... just Does that it doesn't say It's just how you process the game. So for me, I, I know, like, specifically who's working with who so I have an idea in my head but you have a different game than me so your idea would be different than mine and I don't know who's working with who mm-hmm. I don't know exactly who. like I know who Danny's working with mm-hmm. you know like I don't know Danny and Devon are real cool because why would I target Danny if Devon has got her mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying so there's like olive branches of stuff that I'm not sure about which is why you have to communicate and ask questions because if you ask Devon or not just in this example if you asked her she would give you an answer yeah, so but that's then what I'm you saying. Could say, like, mm-hmm, that's mm-hmm. why I have to like. But other than Memphis, you don't have any other people that are on your radar. So let me ask you so this: Maybe Tyler. But I don't know if I want to take a shot because I don't know how the house feels about. Okay, it. tell. Me. Great point. Tell me why. That's number one. And tell me a second thing: Are you aiming to win the game? Or are you just aiming to make it to jury? Because that determines how you think about the big picture, too. I think it's, to me, I think it's, um, well, first thing is because he, I feel like he plays such a great social game that, between him and Christmas, they play like such a great social game. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And they're good competitors. Mm-hmm. Which is a dual threat. Mm-hmm. Where when it gets in game, they can make, they can win stuff when they need to. Right. That's the fear. Right. Don't can't let them get to that. Too point. far. Okay. That's a great logic. Um, okay. I just. Um, but I feel more comfortable with Tyler. In terms of speaking, maybe getting some thoughts, ideas, and Christmas, mm-hmm. Christmas seems, I don't know. This mm-hmm. this thing is just hard to figure out. All right, so where are you with Cody? Not that. Not that tight. Mm-hmm. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, that's hard. Strategically, though, um, I don't think. I think Christmas really likes you. So I don't think that's... Yeah, that's, that's hard to determine yeah. if it's game or if it's social. Exactly. Um, but yeah, for game-wise, probability of beating people is very important. So that's a really good angle, too. And then... Um, in terms of numbers... <laughs> 